Is this killing your business? By any chance, the thing I'm gonna talk to you about today, killing your business. Hello everyone, this is your coach Vanda Martin here and today let's have a very strong conversation. And I'm gonna tell you a story that I know will, will inspire you and hopefully transform your mindset. So stay here with me because I'm gonna tell you a quick story and I'm gonna share with you three things that I want you to do ASAP to change your business and to make a lot of growth, success, sales, and business for you. Are you up to it? Awesome. So stay here with me. Let me tell you the story. And meanwhile, do me a favor, subscribe to the button over there. Just click on the button because I wanna make sure you get all my content because I'm here, love. I'm here, darling to help you every day. So, this thing is killing a lot of business. You know what it is? Complacency, complacency. And the one thing that I wanna talk about that you guys, many of you, maybe not all of you, some of you guys are my clients and are doing it, but many of you are hurting, suffering, because you have this problem. You have been consistent with one of the most important thing you have in your business. Let me repeat. One of the most important thing you have in your business, you know what it is? Your database. Your database slash your CRM. That means sometimes people don't do things because they don't see the value, they don't understand the benefits, they don't know how. So let me tell you a story because I want you to see how is possible. I moved to the Central Valley a long time ago, the Central Valley, California. My husband at the time got a job in Stockton, okay? So we moved to Stockton. I have a 10 months old baby, Peter, and we moved to this town. He got a job there. We don't know anybody, okay? I don't know anyone. So we got there and uh, right away I signed up for the gym taking care of my son, doing my thing, sign up for the gym. And then I start not feeling good after a while and something's not right. And I'm like, what's going on? I realized I was pregnant. I went to the doctor and I was pregnant. I'm like, my gosh, how can that be? I'm still nursing and uh, how can I be pregnant again? My baby's only 10 months old. I kind of panic a little bit, got nervous, but then talked to my mom and she said, relax. Everything's okay, you will be able to take care of both of them, your heart will grow, you're gonna love them the same, you're gonna be able to take time, take care of them, and you're gonna do amazing. I was pregnant with my son, Yvonne. So, have the baby, right? Again, I don't know anybody in the city. And time goes on, the baby, the babies are growing fast and well. I start playing basketball at the gym with the guys. We had a pickup game at noon. I love the pickup game at the gym. And then, of course, some of you guys know, I always loved real estate, always. I always plan to go real estate someday, sometime soon. And um, as I was playing basketball, I was playing basketball. One of the guys was the owner of Prudential at the time was Prudential Real Estate. And uh, we started talking and I told him I always love real estate. One of those days I'm gonna go in real estate. He said, Vonda, I have a class that I have at night and I talk about the possibilities, opportunity, why don't you come? Anyways, making a long story short, I went to his office and I thought, you know what? I can get my license, I can start this soon. So I went ahead and took my life, took the test and got my license and um, waited a little time, went back to him. He said, come to me and we're going to be amazing. You are the kind of person that you can talk to everyone from the janitor to the CEO of a company. You can cross saving boundaries. You have the energy, you speak other language, you're gonna do amazing. I said, thank you very much. He said, all I need is 10 hours of your time and you're gonna crush it, you're gonna kill it. I said, wait a minute, I just had a baby. Let's talk, I'll come back. And then I decided to wait a little more. My baby was too young, my kids too young. I wanted to enjoy them, to, to be there for them, to teach them the language, the, the skills, so I stay home for a while. Then when I decided to go back, it was two years later, I decided to go back, uh, to go back, you know, to start in real estate. 
of course, again, I still didn't know a lot of people. I was probably, you know, right now at three and a half years in town and I, in the city, and I probably knew 30 people. But you know what I had? Drive, hunger, ambitions, ambition, and I decided to do my best. And I always knew that people are the biggest resource. People are the biggest asset. And I start connecting with people, and of course, when I hired my coach, he told me something that really helped me a lot. He said, Vanda, your database is your book of business. Your database, your CIM is the most important thing you have, and you gotta grow it, you got to nurture it, and you got to be the best of it. So my darlings, why am I telling you story? Because I want you to hear, I want you to see that it's possible. Even though I was new in the city, I was not known in the city, didn't have a lot of people. I declared from now on, today I'm the queen of my database. Today I will build this business and I will build the repeat and refer business that I am happy, proud, and super successful at it. So I put my CIM together, I put my database together, I started connecting people, I went to groups, start women network, Rory Club, I was playing basketball, the guys at the gym, the police officers, the firefighters. Uh, the business people. I was connected with people. I signed up for tennis lessons. So I met some of the ladies. I start, you know, connect with people, connect to people, build, building my database. And I implemented a system that made me millions. The system of nurturing and follow up that build my business. And in less than two years, I was getting one, two listing per week. Come list me. Would you like to have come list me per week? Hey, Vanda, a message. Hey, Vanda, this is Joanna here. My Aunt Mary is moving. And I told her, you are the person to go to, so please call her. I know you're going to take care of her. Oh, how about, hey, Vanda, we, I hope you're doing well. We are moving to the Bay Area. Come and sell your home for us. Hey, Vanda, this is John here. I just got a, a promotion. I'm so excited. I'm now the detective of this area and I want to move up. I want to buy a bigger home. Come here so you can help me to sell my home and buy a new home, another home. Would you like to have those come with me? That's when you have a proven system that strategically nurture your database. And as you become the queen, or the king of your database, and you showing up consistently in their email box, consistently in their mailbox. When you're showing up in the world, in their platforms, providing value, education, inspiration, insights, wisdom, and knowledge, you become top of the mind, and they know you care, and people do business with people they like, trust, believe in. So. I'm gonna ask you right now, are you, are you being complacent with the most important people you have in your business, your database, are you? Because I wanna make sure I showed you guys right now three things I want you to do it. Three things I want you to do it right away because that's going to transform your business. So let me ask you this. Do you have a repeatable, proven system to nurture to build and grow your database and bring you repeat and referral business. Do you? If you don't have, right now you got to implement ASAP. Let me repeat this. If you don't have a repeatable, proven system for your database to create and generate business, repeat and referral, to nurture your leads and nurture your clients and provide value, information, education, insights, and be top of the mind. You've got to do that today, ASAP, okay? That's number one. Number two, if you are not, if you're not generating leads from your database, calling them consistently, you've got to change that. You've got to change that. So you will learn with my proven system, the system that made millions, millions of dollars. And that, by the way, how I was able to become the number one agent in the city in less than four years. How I was able, able to make a million dollars in 1.3, 1.5, being new in the city. 
is possible when you use the right approach, the right systems, the right process for the right lead sources, especially your database. So number one, if you're not generating your leads and you're not generating business from your database, you gotta do it right away. It's again, probably because you don't have the system, probably because you don't have the structure, probably you're not uh, being intentional and taking action on it consistently. So number two, change. Okay, number two, change. If you're not generating business consistently, day in, day out from your, from your database, you got to change this. And number three, if you are spending, and that's to a lot of you guys, please pay attention. Love, darling, warrior, my tribe, my people, I say this from the bottom of my heart. If you are spending a lot of your time looking for other magical, shiny, special lead source scheme, magic pill, some kind of a, a spectacular special lead generation system, stop that. There is no magical lead gen. There is no shiny penny that will generate more business for you than your CRM, your database. You just have to apply the methods the strategies, the insights, the system, the proven system that we have, because otherwise you're just gonna be dabbling. You know what's a dabbler? It's only someone who starts something and never finish, never does anything consistently. So don't be complacent with your database. Don't be a dabbler with your database because there's no magic lead source. There's no shiny penny. There's no other scheme or a special formula that will be more powerful more amazing, more productive, more profitable, more strategic and successful than nurturing your database, providing them value, information, insights, consistently showing up for them so they know you have the skills, you have the knowledge, you have the experience, you care, you are trustworthy, you are committed to them, you are knowledgeable, and you have the credibility, and you have the authority, and most of all, you have the skills the capability to help them to get the job done. Selling a home is very important. There's a lot of money involved. There's a lot of time, energy involved. They want the best. They want to be able to know they can trust you. So when you have the proven system and you do it consistently, write it down for me, the word is consistent. Consistency, consistently. When you do it consistently, the system and you apply the frameworks, right? And you do the step-by-step -step of the system, you win, you win. So today, I'm gonna say to you, declare right now, declare like I declared. I am the queen of my database. I am the king of my database. From now on, my people, my database, my CRM, they will know what I do, how I do it, how much I care, how much I know, how much I can help them. I will provide insight, information. So just declare, I'm the queen of my database. I'm the king of my database. And then go put your systems in place. Go put your database in place. Your CIM completely systematized, automated as much as possible and keep growing it. Keep growing it every month. Grow 10, 15, 20 people. When you do your Facebook ads, put people in your database. When you do your open house, put people in the database. When you go to groups, put people in your database. How I was able to do that? I networked, I was everywhere talking to people and I grew my database. And as they noticed that I had the skills, the energy, the strategies, the knowledge, and I care, and I kept them informed, top of their mind, they came to me because people wanna give it back. There's a beautiful thing called the law of reciprocity. The more you give, the more they wanna give back to you. So today, again, declare, and make sure you're not doing those three things, right? Make sure that if you don't have a proven system, you put it on in place right now. And if you're not consistently generating business for your database, day in, day out, daily, change right now. And if you keep looking for magic pill, for some scheme, some, some fantastic magical lead generation, stop it right now and go work in your database, okay? So I love you, I care for you. I hope you get this message and I hope you know it's possible and you believe and you take action. Go do what it takes and build your beautiful, amazing book of business. And that's what you sell when you exit the business, when you become the millionaire that you want. That's a lot. Talk to you soon. And please do me a favor. 
share this video with your team share this video with anyone who is lost or overwhelmed looking for a magic pill and know that your database is the most important resource you have and you got to take care of them like diamonds like diamonds talk to you later